I'm Eric Harbling. Today I'm headed to the Eureka Street Art Festival. It's about as far north in California as you could possibly get. I just flew into San Francisco this morning. It's about four and a half hours from San Francisco. This is a whole new area of the country I've never been. New city, new people. This is also the first time I've ever gone to a mural festival type thing and I haven't known anybody at all. Got a few more hours of driving ahead of me. I'm gonna take a look at my spot. Ooh, okay. All right. I am gonna have to wake up a little bit earlier than I thought, but this is awesome. Okay. I'm super. This is so big. This is gonna be a fun one. Oh man. Let's check this out. It's gonna be a fireman over here with a fire hose shooting across with some fire over on this side. Got a good night's rest, but there's no paint on the wall yet. Plan is to. Uh, Get this first part with the firefighter there today and tomorrow, and then rip through the rest of it on a Saturday. It's definitely looking like a fireman. There were definitely some weird areas in it with all the folds and stuff that, that are outlined well enough that I, I think I have a good enough template to go from. Uh, now I've been trying this kind of new method where I'll do the sketch on the wall itself and then kind of buff the insides of it and leave like little bits aligned where the sketch is. So that's kind of like, this will give me enough information. I'm gonna try to approach this a little bit differently. I'm gonna try to finish the top and just kind of work my way down. Almost like a printer rather than, rather than a screen printer. Starting day two right now. I'm really happy with where I got yesterday. I got pretty much this whole the whole firefighter done. I can't celebrate yet because there's still a lot more to do. Feeling myself fading, so I'm gonna walk around, get some food, take a break, uh, walk through everybody else that's been painting because it, it's unreal how good everybody is out here. Another insane thing about how well organized this festival is, is that they have an art walk tour that goes through every day and the amount of people at it is really unreal given like, I don't know, being used to painting in like alleys and, and I don't know, or in weird areas, but it's insane. So they bring everybody around, give a really amazing description of what they're doing, who they are, and um, here, take take a look at this. Uh, this. They're going to be stopping at my wall soon. so try to try to get some laughs but we'll see what happens <laughs> that's the club group she's describing everything you guys can come over here if you want <laughs> I will be here the entire time because I have a lot to do. Now all the all the thinking parts are kind of done. The rest is just like the fun explosiveness. So yeah, that part I'll, I'll be able to do pretty fast. 
Um, I'll still be paying tomorrow during the block party for sure. But, but yeah. Great. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys so much. This is really like so incredible to get the paint in a place like this and see you guys you come out and support it like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my honor. <laughs> Awesome benefits of painting the firehouse is there's a bunch of firefighters in there and when they were able to help me set everything up and that really shaved off a ton of time and a ton of stress on me so now now I really owe it to him to kill it for the fire done so I'm gonna take a break and say how many people are here. Awesome collaborative mural that Ben's putting on. Look at this. Michelle and Swan, not only do they put their hearts into it, but clearly it's something the community needed. Because this is unbelievable how many people are out here. It's, it's just super humbling and amazing to get to be even a small part in, in this magic. Even though I planned to finish yesterday, I got all the way down to the end and then realized I forgot one little section of the hose of the firefighter coming out the back. So basically I'm back here to do this little spot right here. All right, so they had a last minute request that I'm super happy to add to it. They want to add their union numbers to the front of the helmet. So in order to do that, I don't have any scaffolding left, but they were willing to use probably the coolest lift ever to help me out and make this happen. So check this out. There we go. It's gonna be up in that ladder. This is gonna be probably the best lift I'll ever get to use. And this is Tony right here. He's been the one who has, who has helped out an insane amount. Anytime I've asked for, just come out, give me water, give me food. Anytime I kind of need any help struggling with anything, before I know it, there's seven firefighters ready to move the scaffolding and happy to, so happy to put the, uh, their union numbers up here. I can't believe that that actually was able to happen and that I was able to finish in such good time and I think I'm actually going to get to do some kind of sightseeing right now for the next few hours before flying before driving all the way back to San Francisco again and flying home but whew, mission accomplished just I'm so happy about every part of this this, that this worked out. This was done in over the course of three days. The reception from everybody, getting to work with some amazing other artists, get to meet everybody. Um, and the fact that this community just like showed up so much for it. And everybody telling us how excited they are about things that are going on here, about how this is helping them just bring more life to the city that's had a lot of struggles. 
and um, it's just really inspiring and amazing to be a part of and I really hope to come back here or I will I'll be back for sure